What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Should talk about Scream 6 in this video here again today and today was a big day as in we got the obvious news confirmation of the four survivors from Scream 5 returning to reprise their roles in Scream 6. You have Melissa Barrera back, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Mason Gooding, and Jenna Ortega. Despite many people thinking that they wouldn't be able to make it back, specifically Jasmine and Jenna, it's nice to know that they will indeed be able to fit Scream 6 into their hectic schedules and we'll get to see how they are operating with their characters in Scream 6 to see more of Mindy and Tara and there was a press release that got sent out uh, that gave us a little bit more details it gave us some first official plot details about the movie uh, it says that the Scream family reunites once again with the same actors I already mentioned confirmed to return in the next installment of the Spyglass Media and Paramount Pictures Scream franchise the Scream saga continues with the four survivors of the Ghostface killings as they leave Woodsboro behind and start a fresh chapter so there you have it you already now know that Scream 6 is looking to head outside of Woodsboro it's actually confirmed it's not actually confirming that we are correct in the statement or sentiment that is going to be taking place at college but again going off of this now being out there officially and knowing where the production office is located across from and knowing the history of the place it's located across from it seems like we're going back to college it seems like mcgill university will indeed be where we are going to be based at primarily in screen six and there's a strong chance that we'll get a lot of great establishing shots this time around as opposed with Scream 5. I think there's a lot of different things visually that'll be able to capture your eye a lot better as opposed to Scream 5. Given the fact that again with things starting to go back to what again they're calling normal. The filmmaking aspect of this movie might come out with a better result on a aesthetic level as opposed to Scream 5. Uh, the overall cinematography I just feel like has a chance to be much better here as opposed to what we got in Screen 5. But nice to know that they're all back. Not that this was shocking, of course, but it's starting to trickle in. You're starting to get those official news announcements. And I know I've seen those cast rumors. The big thing, I've already talked about it. The person who I got that video I made with all the rumored plot details, they're saying that Friday the 13th is going to be a huge day. Bloody Disgusting is the one that has the exclusive report on it, apparently. We will see how true that is come Friday the 13th. A lot of things are going on on Friday the 13th, hopefully. Uh, some new music coming out if you're a Kendrick Lamar fan. Maybe you'll get a Scream 6 cast announcement. I think something else is on Friday. Evil Dead, the game's coming. There's so many exciting things to look forward to potentially with scream or on friday the 13th this this week but knowing that their back is nice i don't think that this means that all of them are necessarily going to be interacting with each other very heavily i think they're going to follow in a pattern in which you have your survivors off doing their own thing and then you'll get more of them being together as a union in a scream 7 kind of like how you have those og3 they weren't really just mushed together in a lot of sequences in Scream 2. They became a trio, I would say officially, in Scream 3. Also, I guess it was important to note that they were, of course, trying to end the series there. But you get what I'm saying. I think we'll see a lot of them branching out, doing their own things. They'll still be a quartet. I do think they have a chance here to kind of explore a surviving quartet. Maybe they don't kill any of these four. Because I know a lot of people are already going in thinking, well, yeah, one of them is going to die. I think it will be much better, probably, and much more shocking if you actually leave, if leave them all alive and save someone to die in Scream 7, if you get that far anyway. The next thing we need to talk about is Nev Campbell, who did give some comments at her Lincoln Lawyer premiere, I think it was yesterday. Uh, and if you're someone who's looking forward to that show, I, well, I hope you enjoy it. And if you're needing a Nev Campbell fix, of course. But she made some statements about her upcoming participation, or lack thereof, in Scream 6. And she stated that she is not attached to the project just yet. She said, I don't know if I am. She admits, adding that she can't get into it. So then these statements have had a lot of people going, what does that mean? What does this mean? So my 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 thoughts on this is what she's saying is, I don't know if I am because like this article did kind of just word it in a way in which she says that she just flat out told us that she's not in the movie. I don't think she's doing that as much as she is telling us that something's coming and she can't speak on it. Given that, again, look what happened today. None of these people actually flat out told us that they were in the movie. Mason, again, from the video I did, he was kind of like the only one to kind of seemingly confirm it without saying, hey, yeah, I'm in it. There's going to be an announcement for Nev as well. 
I think, when it's time for that to be announced. Courtney, I think, I guess you could say, slipped up a, fuck, a, couple, a couple weeks ago when she said that she got the script and kind of just made it clear that there's a role for her in the movie. Doesn't mean she's necessarily signed on, but a lot of outlets ran with it too. And it's the way that she was just talking with the uh, in the podcast that made it seem like, oh yeah, Courtney Cox is back as well. She got the script and she's reading it, or she hadn't read it yet, but you know. So Nev, I don't think is just flat out saying I'm not going to be in it and I when she says she's not going to get into it I don't think she's talking about the script oh I can't get into what they wrote as much she is saying she can't talk about this right now because given how everything seems to be right now you know we haven't had any leaked audition tapes no leaked character names none of that stuff most we've gotten I guess so far might be a leaked cast list and it seems like there's very much so more of a signed non-disclosure agreement going on with this movie much more strict i guess and that would also tie into why nev is very tight-lipped about about this right now she did say apparently at a convention again shout out to you craving something scary you said someone was at a convention they asked her if she was gonna be in it she said we'll see so you know she's just continuing to do her i'll call andrew garfield thing when it comes to being asked about these screen movies do i think she's in it yes i do do I really care if she returns or not? Not in the instance that I don't want to see her in it. But again, if you don't have something substantial for this character who is my favorite final girl, then don't do it. Don't have her here. Because she, again, I've made this clear. When it comes to this character, she is much more than just someone I just need to see to know how she's doing. I don't need that. She's always been somebody that's been treated like a main event. I want that to continue to be a thing. I want her, her presence in these movies to continue to have a purpose. Um, you know, re referencing her is fine. Giving a quick shot of her with her family, while it would be fine. Again, she's not, she's not a Martha Meek. She's not a Kirby Reed. She's not these characters that are just now being introduced. Or characters who have always come and gone and never been that important to begin with. She's always been the main event. She's been the shot caller. She's Sydney Prescott. I don't want her role to be reduced to anything. So if you don't have anything for her, then yeah, I don't really mind if Nev sits it out. She can return for Scream Seven in much more larger role. Who knows what they've talked about? But let me know what you guys think about all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limited any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video